Okay, I'm logged in to Alfresco Community 42C. And if I do a search for my users, you can see I have five test users here. And these all came either by being created manually or by being imported. Now I want to um, configure my server to use LDAP. So I have Apache directory server running and you can see in Eclipse uh, I can see the uh, the groups. I have one group and I can see the people, my users, and I have users 6 through 10 defined. So I have 1 through 5 are already sitting in Alfresco and 6 through 10 are in my LDAP directory. And if I click on a specific user you can see the um, common name of the user which is the full name uh, given name password etc if I click on a group I can see that our test group one has two group two members nine and ten all right so let's configure this the first step is to grab the LDAP authentication properties from the out-of-the-box web app so I'm sitting in my text editor and I'm just going to webinf classes alfresco subsystems authentication LDAP and within that is the LDAP authentication properties file we will copy this file into shared classes um, so I've already done that let me navigate to shared classes Alfresco, Extension, Subsystems, Authentication, LDAP, and then within that a directory called LDAP1. You'll need to create those directories if they don't already exist. Now let me just show you a difference um, between the out-of-the-box LDAP properties file and mine. So the one on the top is mine, the one on the bottom is out of the box. So the first thing is to change what your LDAP server is, then the admin ID of the LDAP user. Now the group query is different for my server. My LDAP uses unique names, so the differential query and the group query have to be different. The place where I store my groups is a little bit different, as well as my users. The default home folder provider does not have to change, but I just like mine to be the user homes home folder provider. The group display name attribute for me is the CN, not the description. And my group type is a group of unique names, not a group of names. Similarly, the attribute for a group is unique member, not member. And that's it. So it's 10 changes between the out-of-the-box LDAP properties file and the one I use for my Apache directory server. Now, once we've made that change, so we've got our config in place, the next step is to tell Alfresco to use our configuration. So that's in the Alfresco global properties file. If I navigate to shared classes, I can find the Alfresco global properties file and I just need to put the LDAP1 colon LDAP into the authentication chain. So we can save that file and restart our server and once the server comes up I should be able to log in with one of those users tuser6 who is only defined in LDAP. Now I can log in and it works just fine. If I log out and log in as admin, we can navigate to the repository, go find the user homes folder, and we can see that the LDAP based users have user homes folders already created. If I go look at the groups, just browse the groups I can see that my test group from LDAP came over and it has test user 9 and test user 10 in it. Now we can make changes to our LDAP server and those changes will sync over. So for example maybe we want to add some new users. 
have users 11 through 15 sitting in an LDIF file. So I will just import those. Have to, I've done this before, I have to overwrite the log file. Click Finish. And here are the five new users. Similarly, we could um, import groups or we could just copy one here in the UI. So let's copy test group and paste it. Give it a new name. So now we have a new group, test group two. And let's make a change to test group one, which has already been synced to Alfresco. Let's add a new member. The members of a group are stored in this attribute called unique member. So I can just add a new attribute. Unique member. And let's give it a value. Let's just add test user eight to be a member of this group. And that's enough changes for now. Let's cause the um, Alfresco server to sync with LDAP. It'll happen on a schedule, but for me, for this demo, I'm just restarting my server and forcing the sync to happen that way. Now I can log in as one of our brand new users, test user 15. And if I log in as the administrator and go look at the groups, or the users, I can show you that all the users, both the Alfresco defined users and the ones that came over from LDAP are now in the list. And if I go look at groups, I can see that test group two, the one that we copied, came over and test group one came over and has the new test user eight as a member of the group.